Welcome to the Box of Inspirations. The place where you get the best for you and your business. From successful people and entrepreneurs. Hi there, my name's Dave Cornthwaite. I'm an adventurer, travel writer, and public speaker. Ten years ago, I was a graphic designer, a really bad graphic designer. And I woke up on the morning of my 25th birthday with my cat on my chest. She was kneading her hands, asking for breakfast. And I looked into her eyes and realized that she was about to have a much better day than I was. For four years, I'd been basically living life like everybody else was supposed to. Uh, I was a successful Western adult on paper, but at heart, I was really miserable. I had a long-term partner. I had a mortgage. I had a well-paid job, but I didn't really enjoy any of it. In fact, the only thing that was crucial to my life that I loved was my cat. So I decided to make a change. I went snowboarding and loved the feeling of riding a board across the hills. And then Because I lived in a town with no snow, I got myself a long skateboard. Two weeks later, I quit my job and made myself a promise to skateboard further than anybody else had ever skated. I wanted to try new things, to wake up every morning with passion and basically to enjoy my life. I felt like up until then I was wasting my potential. So I did it. I skated the length of Britain from John O'Groats to Land's End and then I crossed Australia, 3,618 miles. I broke two world records and by the time I'd finished that five-month journey on the skateboard, I got my first book deal. It was a brilliant change for me and there was no way I was ever going to go back to a day job. So ever since then, I've been pursuing a larger project. I call it Expedition 1000. The idea is to do 25 different journeys. Each one is a minimum of 1000 miles in distance and each journey uses a different form of non-motorized transport. I've just completed journey number 11. So all in all, I've done thousand plus mile journeys by skateboard, kayak, tandem bicycle, stand up paddleboard. I sailed across the Pacific, rode a quarter ton four wheel bike car from Memphis to Miami. I swam a thousand miles and a few more in between. So I guess I'm very much self-employed now. I'm completely in control of my own time and I'm absolutely dedicated to making my life memorable. I think I want to get to the last day, those last waking breaths and look back and think, man, you couldn't have done more. And that's the sole driver and motivation, really, that takes me through life. I don't really plan ahead. I don't have a five year or a 10 year plan. In fact, I don't really know what I'm doing next week, but that doesn't matter. I'm ambitious and driven. I want to make the most of my time. And I trust myself. I think the number one tip that I can give to people, you know, it's really hard to condense down into number one, but uh, I think the best one is never make a decision just based on money. Always do it from the heart. Always do something because you're going to learn from it. And even though you learn from more from your failures than you do your successes, which is a great way actually to you know, get rid of this fear of doing new things. I think the absolute key to being happy in everything you do is to do it because you really want to do it, not because of an external factor like cash. I go through life with a single motto. It's to say yes more. Don't be afraid of taking on opportunities, even if when they present themselves, they don't really seem like you're ready for them. You know, I think I like the idea of ready, fire, and then aim rather than ready, aim, fire. As soon as you start doing something, you always work out how to do it best. And the more opportunities you take on, the more you say yes to things, the more other opportunities present themselves. And remember, it's say yes more, not say yes to everything. Um, Otherwise, you'll be far too busy to live. So I guess my recommendation is Don't be afraid of things. You know, if if you're scared of something, then it's probably a good thing. But face it head on. And after that, you know, nothing's going to hold you back. If you'd like to follow my adventures or indeed get in touch a little bit more, uh, you can do so on my website, davecornthwaite.com or on Facebook. The page is called Dave Cornthwaite Expedition 1000. Good luck and go get life. 
Thanks for tuning in on today's episode. Head on over to boxofinspirations.com for full recaps and much more.